Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the E2 of uh, Code Forces Round 883 Division 3. So the problem is Rudolph and Snowflakes. So if I explain this problem, E1 could be done in the same way because the problem will only differ in the constants. So what is the problem? The problem involved uh, creation of some graph and uh, after we have to estimate if, if uh, this many number of nodes in the graph is possible or not. So how we are constructing the graph? These uh, three lines are quite confusing um, Confusing statement I, I can say. The third statement especially uh, it took a lot of time for me to understand what it tries to say. So let me explain what it tries to say. So let's say we have some nodes, uh, let's say one. Now uh, we can add uh, any k greater than one nodes to the graph. Okay. So let's say we are adding k equals to 3. So we can add k equals to 3 then it will be 2 and 4 okay now uh, after this is the first level is done okay the first level is done now after that we have already initial uh, sorry we have already decided the value of k equals to 3 then uh, in the next level we can add uh, these three nodes to all these three vertices okay these three vertices the outer layer vertices you can say so we are adding all three nodes to the outer layer vertices so at each level, we will take all the outer layer vertices and add k vertices to each of them. That is a problem. So, uh, let's say we have decided k. Then the at first level, at first level, let's say this is level and these are nodes. The first level, the first level, the number of nodes will be 1. And the second level, the number of level, uh, nodes will be 1 plus k. Because we are adding k uh, nodes uh, to the to 1. And in the third level, uh, in the third level, what will be? We are adding k nodes to each of these k outer layer vertices. So it will be 1 plus k plus k, k square. So uh, so at nth level, nth level it will be nothing but 1 plus k plus add at dot 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 k to the power n minus 1. This is a simple DP, uh, sorry, simple GP formula or uh, geometry progression, which is nothing but k to the power n minus 1 divided by k minus 1. I hope you got it. That is uh, the GP formula here. Uh, for the um, easy problem, you can just iterate over all the k and n's and try to find the value. Now, for the hard version of the problem, so uh, and uh, one more thing to observe here is that uh, this step could be done at least once. That means that the number of levels could be at least three. Because let's say our uh, level is two, then we can take any uh, that we are given a, a number of nodes as n. We will take uh, replace k by n minus 1 then every possible uh, uh, node value will be possible so everything will be yes okay everything here will be yes so that's why uh, uh, till level 2 is not allowed we can uh, take from level 3 that's what the third point means that this step could uh, should be done at least once okay so from third level till the nth level uh, we have to find if it is possible to construct a graph using some arbitrary value n so let's say that we have some uh, function let's say a pop k comma n as uh, k to the power n minus 1 k to the power n minus 1 divided by k minus 1 i hope you got it this is k minus 1 yeah k to the power n minus 1 divided by k minus 1 yes this is the uh, formula a pop k comma n now uh, the first thing you might observe is that uh, what is the maximum value of n uh, as we are uh, just saying that uh, the value of k is greater than 1 so the value of k, be, k would be at most 2 so 2 to the power 60 is almost equals to 10 to the power 18 so this will be 10 to the power 18 so uh, the value of n could be at most 60 or uh, for some insurance you can say it would be 70 so uh, that's what we can do that upper bound of n is 70 and what is the lower bound of n so for n equals to 2 the number of levels let's say n is the number of levels let's say the number of level is 2 then the value of uh, k could be at most uh, at uh, 10 to the power 9 so we can't iterate over all the values of k you can say okay so we can't iterate over all the values of k so uh, i hope you got it uh, what i am trying to say i am trying to say is that we can iterate over all the values of levels the levels could be at most 70 or 60 you can say for insurance we are taking 70 so uh, we are iterate, we can iterate over all the levels but for every level uh, the maximum value for level 2 is 10 to the power 9 so we can't iterate over all the values of k then what we can do so then what we can do 
you can say that uh, for let's say we are uh, fixing one value of pin now for a certain value of pin this function f of k let's say f of k for a certain value of pin is an increasing function you can say because we are increasing the value of k uh, the fk value will increase so this is an increasing function so for any increasing function we what we can do we can apply binary search so what is our solution approach our solution approach is nothing but we are uh, iterating over all the values of labels uh, the mm, first level uh, from third level to 70th level you can say and for every level what we are doing we are finding the um, possible value using binary search on the value of k okay now for that uh, another thing we have to do is that finding the r value finding the r value because we can initialize r to 10 to the power 18 i have done that uh, at first but it could give us some uh, if you are using c++ it could give you uh, overflow error or if you are using python it could give you time limit exceeded so what we have to do we have to find uh, some estimate the uh, some value of r so what we can do uh, this is k to the power n minus 1 by k minus 1 is uh, less than equals to 10 to the power 18 so what we can do we can say that k to the power n by k less than equals to 10 to the power 18 approximately for a, uh, approximation now k to the power uh, k is less than equals to uh, 10 to the power 18 by n minus 1 so we can do this thing and uh, we can add some arbitrary value uh, i'll show you my code now what i have done is that we are iterating over every value of label and we are doing the same thing infinity is 10 to the power 18 we are taking infinity to the power uh, 1 by n minus 1 10 to the power 18 to the power of 1 by n minus 1 or 1 by level minus 1 that's what i am doing here plus we are taking some insurance value this 10 is nothing but some insurance value uh, and uh, for this we are doing some bi binary search uh, c is the function value c is the function value greater to the power n minus 1 by k minus 1 if c equals to equals to n we are uh, uh, setting the value of flag as 1 and breaking it now if it is c is greater than 1 we are going to the left range of the binary search and if it is less than n we are going to the uh, right range and uh, at the end if the flag value of flag is 1 we are printing yes else we are printing no so this problem is quite straightforward you have to find uh, the first observation observation will be to uh, maximize the optimize the value of label the maximum value of label you have to uh, identify the first uh, trick will be to understand the problem statement that uh, will take uh, a lot of time i think and the second thing is to observe is that the constant on the number of labels and the third thing to observe is that this function is strictly increasing and we can apply binary search and at the end uh, i think you all will understand what i am trying to say and uh, if you have any doubt in any part of the video you can always ask me in the comment section i will also provide the link of the code in the description box Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.